from August 31st to September 28th, Gallery 456 presents Theater of Crossroads, the first solo exhibition by Beijing-based artist Yang Yuanyuan in New York City. The exhibition showcases photographs and a performance video from four different projects: Ten Days in Krakow, at the place of crossed sites, Dalian Mirage, and Yang Yuanyuan's current research about a group of pioneering female performers of the Chinese diaspora. So this exhibition reconnects four different projects、uh, created by Yuan Yuanyang since 2013. So the exhibition focused on the history of migration and history in the 20th century. Through this exhibition, I really want to show how Yuan Yang works as a visual storyteller, embedding her own personal experience and perspectives to reconstruct the existing historical narratives, challenge the way in which the history is written. Keeping an eye out for the forgotten and untold life stories of people whose memories have been buried by mainstream accounts of history, Yang Yuanyuan uses these figure stories and contrasts them with the history presented in authorized texts, using cross-disciplinary sources including film and literature, as well as her own photography and writing. Yang mixes fact and fiction to create anachronistic storylines and question the way in which history is written. Very fundamental question is、um, I question the way that history is being written. What's been missing, and and who decided like history is being written in this way? And the reason why I chose to use photography is like this like very important medium like to document、uh, history. But at the same time, history of photography is also full of like misunderstandings and like this kind of like. In manipulation and empty spaces between many things, and this is like what intrigues me. I always try to tell histories through the perspective of different individuals. And, you know the possibilities of connections among things, connections between one particular space and one particular figure, between one figure now and one figure like existed. Uh, you know, passed away like many years ago. Like maybe we cross paths. Like maybe we were in the same space, exactly the same spot we are standing right now. What happened to that figure? Like you know, 50 years ago. And then how's this person's relation with this space? And all these like possibilities among、um, things that cross time and space. This is something I'm interested. Awarded a grant by Asian Cultural Council, Yang Yuanyuan came to New York this March and began her six-month residency, researching immigration history and engaging with artists and diasporic writers in the U.S. During her residency, Yang Yuanyuan got to learn about the life of female Chinese American filmmaker Esther Ng, a legendary and charismatic figure in the film industry and Chinese community whose story had been lost in time. As Yuan Yuan retraced the actor's life journey to New York, San Francisco, and Havana, Cuba, she encountered prominent historical Chinese diaspora figures in the field of arts and culture. Inspired by all the people she met, Yuan Yuan shared that her next project is a film, in which she will use her own artistic approach to recontextualize the history of the diaspora and highlight the lives of important figures, including the work they did and their relationship with the Chinese community. And she was born in 1914 in San Francisco, passed away in 1970s, and after she passed away, she was forgotten. And there were no article written about her until 1995, and then there were no visual materials. She made 11 films in her life; nine of them were lost. And there are still many, many untold stories relating to her. And that made me start want to, you know, dig out more. Like I basically try to go to places she visited in her life journey, and then through this process, I realized, you know, I want to make this film. But it's not a film about Esther Ng. She's more like this ghost figure accompanying with me, like walking with me throughout this journey. And we we're gonna go to opera houses. We're gonna go to cinemas, and then we're gonna go to nightclubs. And in this film, I'm going to make it's more looking at you know the invisible queer and female figures throughout this sound and visual history. In 20th century. 
For more information from Sound Vision English Channel, you can find us online at en.soundvision.net or follow our Facebook page at Sound Vision Official. Reporting for Sound Vision Journal, I'm Jian Shi.